If you are looking for an organization to become a part of, I would suggest Art for El Salvador. I met with Maria Howard and Emily Fioni to find out more about their organization and the projects that they are currently working on. We're from the student organization Art for El Salvador, and um, what we do as an organization is use art as a way to uplift impoverished communities in El Salvador. There's an organization, a uh, Des Moines based organization called Our Sister Parish, and it partners Des Moines based communities with cantons, like villages in El Salvador. And my church, my from home in Dell Center is partnered with a community called Canton Virginia. And so I first had the opportunity to travel to El Salvador in the summer of 2009 with my sister. And this was an extremely life-changing experience. Um, it really opened our eyes to the reality that the resources that we so easily take for granted in our own lives, things so um, basic to us as water and education, food, um, are really a daily struggle for other people in the world. We couldn't just come back to our comfortable lives in the United States and not actively do something to support the people that we really loved. After our first trip, I really liked art and so I drew some pictures off, did some drawings based off of the pictures that I had taken. And this, in the summer of 2010, my sisters and I, I have two sisters, Naya and Sarah, we started Art for El Salvador. And it was, we didn't really have a clear vision as to where this money would go. Um, but we wanted to just raise money and to support our friends in El Salvador. And so I had my drawings and my older sister made projects, my little sister made projects. She made these hand painted boxes, uh, similar to this. And people in the community got involved as well. And so that first summer, the money we raised went back to the community of Canton, Virginia to help them buy bean seeds. The majority of the families there live um, on subsistence farming. And so that year they had had a really horrible drought and we were able to give them funds to help them buy seeds so that they could provide for their family in the next year. And so I went back that next fall and it was really exciting to see you know, them harvesting their crops and, for, and to see that, that small, humble effort that we had started just in our rural Iowa community had made a tangible impact. At the end of that summer, um, my sisters and I were involved in a car accident and um, my little sister Sarah, who was 12 years old at the time, she did not survive. And initially we stopped the project. We, as a family, just had to figure out how to operate in the world without Sarah um, right by our side. And that winter, Naya, my sister, mentioned the idea of building a school in El Salvador. And, you know, that's, at the time, it's a huge idea. It's a huge undertaking. And we didn't, you know, how we were going to get there. But we just decided, let's, let's do it. Let's make it happen. And so since that moment, that was the uh, winter of 2011, we've been working to make that happen. So I met Maria in our class. It was arts integration, and our professor was Denise Tallickson. And she gave a presentation about Art for El Salvador and their, their little mission, I guess, to build a school. And it was just her and her and her family at the time doing like farmers markets. And so then she did a presentation and it fit perfectly with our class because we were creating lessons that integrated the arts so that we could go to a school um, called Cal and we were going to teach these lessons to elementary school kids and they're going to make art as a result of these lessons, I guess. So our theme was then art from the heart that you know correlated with Art for El Salvador and this art that the Cal students made was going to be then sold at our Art from the Heart event. So at UNI we do this, do these art nights and it's Art for El Salvador members and it's you just come as you please. You don't have to come every time to an to an art night or to our meetings, but we just like you know to have these big art nights where we we create every kind of art imaginable, people paint, people draw. Um, we keep going on with these Sarah's boxes because that's what that's what Sarah liked to make and that's what she made to raise money in the beginning and so that's one of the aspects that we, we really like to keep going because she was such a big part of this before she passed. So right now what we're raising funds to do is renovate this K-6 through building and then also build a 7 through 9 structure in the community so that kids have the opportunity to advance further within their education. And the school will be called La Escuela de Serralena after my little sister. She inspired her sisters and consequently this 
outstanding community of people of art for El Salvador to do something extraordinary and to build a school in El Salvador in her memory. To become a part of this organization, you can email Maria Howard at artforelsalvador at gmail.com. And if you just want to find out more about their project, you can visit their Facebook page named Art for El Salvador.